hello welcome and welcome back to my channel and if you are new here kindly subscribe to my channel because i provide uh, it related information as well as cloud and other tips and tricks so uh, today i have two news one is from tcs another is from accenture and the accenture what i got is quite shocking so let please be with me i will going to share all the news but before that let me tell you in my last video i talk about tcs hike so i have spoken about tcs i know there are a couple of news here and there from the leadership team that they, this year there might be more than 10 percent hike that they are going to give because of uh, their revenue was stable their stock price is good so what it, it was a speculation that they will give more than 10 percent as a default hike uh, soon after this video tcs announced the hike but it was not the same what i discussed because you know these news are not always correct what has happened in tcs is uh, like this if, if you are in tcs or if you have little idea tcs has four bands basically so band d the lowest band where you won't get salary hike possibly your salary may decrease so there are few number of people very less number possibly one or two percent in tcs they got d earlier there was a very rare scenario where people used to get d but these days people one percent or two percent people got d and definitely there might be a salary cut but definitely they won't go through pip process some other company if, if you got uh, the lowest band like you know accenture cognizant or ibm they can put you in pip but for tcs that was that is not the case right so that is about d now in band c the average hike is between two to four percent so that is quite shocking uh, again it's a single digit and uh, tcs even somebody is less than 20 lakhs uh, four percent hike doesn't make much sense right so again like for c it was between two to four percent there are few people got one percent as well but uh, ideally it is average four percent for c and for b basically they got five to six percent so again very less and for top performer who got band a they got between eight to nine percent like you know they didn't even uh, move to uh, like you know double digit but there are some exception case where they got between 10 to 12 percent uh so this is all about tcs side but one one point to be noted in this year tcs has given a lot of a band so earlier tcs used to give approximately 20 to 25 percent uh a band sometimes it's less than that but this year the a band is slightly high and uh, i talk I, I spoke with few of the employees so this news i got from each one of them you can validate definitely if you have something otherwise of always you can challenge me so this is one one in news i have and there is one news which is quite depressing that tcs now linked uh, their variable pay with uh, work from office program so if someone is not going to office uh, like you know possibly 60 percent or less so they won't get full variable pay and in some cases they won't even get the variable pay so tcs in tcs work from home is no longer present it is work from office and that to strictly nine hours so they implemented this policy and if you are still doing work from home you need to be very cautious about this disciplinary action or even like you know it can be lead to a variable pay as well so these are the two news that i have for tcs now again i got a depressing news from accenture so the news is last year accenture has no hike they announced no hike here that we all know they have not given hike but this year since like you know this year we are expecting that accenture will announce a good hike though there is a slowdown uh like you know they're in revenue they have announced uh, they have focused like you know one to two percent growth this year but what i am now listening from the leadership team that this year also there might be a no hike situation so that is quite depressing uh for the people of accenture people are working long time working in a promotion queue waiting for the promotion and all that like this is kind of uh, injustice i believe but again this is not confirmed because kind of a speculation i got this news from one of the director um, of accenture in last week and i also shocked but surprisingly uh what they are planning like you know as per them basically so they told that even though there is uh no hike or very less hike this year in accenture but still they will pay a good variable pay so possibly they will give 100 percent variable pay for the people who got distinct ach achiever or for the lower bucket like you know you have distinct achiever you have mate expectation for mate expectation also they may pay 100 percent variable payout so that is a good point and one more news which i received 
that in Accenture, possibly for senior manager level onwards, there would be no promotion for this year. So again, like, you know, if you have, if you're not giving promo, like, you know, hike, what is the point of giving promotions? It would be considered as a dry promotion. So these days people are talking about dry promotion where promotions are given, but there is no hike associated. So either it's a normal hike as per the band, as per the, uh, like the uh, ratings, but they are not associating this uh, hike to the promotion. So that is kind of an injustice. But again, like, you know, uh, so if you are in TCS and you are not happy with your, uh, I mean, uh, hikes, then definitely you should look out for the change. And for also Accenture, I was already talks, talked about in my last video that uh, since you already, like, you know, didn't receive the hike in last year and if you're still waiting for your hike for this year, again, that would be in, uh, somewhat in January, like we have six, eight months left possibly. So definitely you can think otherwise you can look out for the job change. But again, uh, market is not so good. So you need to really like, you know, be vigilant and you need to get at least 20 to 30 percent hike before you are uh, like, you know, switching. And there are a couple of news which I which I am observing in LinkedIn possibly. There are few layoffs happening here, here and there. Like, you know, Genpack, some of the Noida based company, Gurgaon Good, Good based, not so popular, but they have laid off a couple of employees. So one of the, uh, like, you know, uh, uh vertical the target is hr group, hr basically so these days basically since uh recruitment is less so maybe uh, the certain hr jobs are, are getting redundant so couple of hr got laid off from genpact and some other companies and also like a junior developer developer having one or two years of experience then they didn't got project so these days there is a issue basically so inside my organization couple of organization i am observing basically these days nobody wish to onboard a, a, a junior resource so it is very difficult to convince a client to onboard a freshers or a, a experience i mean a resource with one or two years experience everybody is expecting four or five years or even 10 years experience folks so for that reason like you know people with people are freshers or with one year experience they are not getting enough opportunity or to work in a client project so for that reason even though they have a good skill like in you know, a python or a full stack developer with express.js node.js react.js as well as a backend uh, like you know, java.net or any other domain they are getting laid off for the project from the company basically so this is quite shocking and uh, the market is definitely down so th these are the few information which i have and do let me know if you have some th something otherwise and please consider my channel i put more video on this thank you